Hey, my little bosses. It's your girl, boss lady Lexi, coming in. Okay, don't judge me and don't ridicule me. Yes, my hair is done under here, but y'all, it's raining, cats and dogs. So I'm protecting my style until I get to my destination and I will put on my lippy when I get there because it was a struggle. Y'all hear me? It was a struggle trying that walker in the car. Oh no, yes. Y'all, I'm in my mouth. Because my mouth was so dry, that took a lot out of me. I told my daughter to put it in the living room, but she didn't, so I had to fold it up, squeeze it through from the kitchen through to the living room, because I only use it when I'm in the kitchen. I don't use it when I'm around the house to like walk with or anything. I just take a chance. <laughs> And pray I don't fall because I don't want to become dependent on it. But y'all, I knew my wobbly legs today and my I woke up y'all in chronic. When I say chronic, I mean chronic pain. And um, I just made it downstairs and got me a bowl of cereal. My um... I had a small bowl of cornflakes with um, almond milk, um, not almond milk, I, I apologize to you all. I had cashew milk because the cashew milk has no dairy, no lactose, no soy, no gluten and all of that stuff. Y'all, let me tell you, I made it to that bathroom just in time. TMI. And I think that just wiped all of the wind out of me. Whew. So, now I am on my way to therapy. It is now 2.54. My appointment is at 3.10 or 3.15. But I'm going to make it there on time. Um, this light was kind of long sitting my little bosses and I have my little pouch with a few little lippies in here so I'm good to go and I'm not all fancy dancy dressed up but I just put on this blue tank top with some black um, workout pants with blue and black stripes on the side um, I didn't have time to take a photo maybe when I get home I'll be able to get a full body shot because I was rushing y'all. I was making it down them steps in a hurry. And I was making sure I didn't leave nothing in upstairs. Because I had took my wallet out to pay the gas bill, pay the water bill, pay the electric bill. All of them are separate bills, y'all. My Lord. So, I'm just driving down the highway. On my way, I call this little spot the Vodok. Because you can either go down or you can go up. But I have to go up. And I need to put some gas in this thing. Because she about to run out. And um, what else? that's about it, y'all. But I'm definitely getting my bands today. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, when I my little bosses it is something when you have to do things by yourself and you're just a little bit disabled it's really hard it really is and I'm gonna have to figure out a system but you know what praise God for Jesus that I didn't have my car because I almost put this thing in wrong but I, I, I had to quickly snap back and remember and when I put it in it wouldn't the trunk wouldn't close so and it's raining so I had to hurry up and turn it sideways and I was praying that it would close because I did not feel like having to go back in the house put the baby car seat in the house and um, put the seats down so luckily it got in there because it fits in my car perfectly <sighs> So now I'm just hoping and praying that um, 
I got some tissues in here to wipe the seat off because it got wet. Um, and that's about it. But y'all want to see how this rain is just pouring down. <sighs> well, that means the grass is going to grow some more. I need to stop sucking my teeth like that. That gets on my last nerve, y'all. You all, I oh, did it again. My little bosses, tomorrow I will be making an appointment with the dentist. I am so afraid. I am beyond afraid, okay? Why did that say $2.49? That's high. Um to get my bottom roll pulled out and get some permanent um, implants. I don't even know how much that's going to cost. Oh my gosh, I'm sure that's going to cost a million. Oh Lord. But I got to fix them up. Um, so much has happened with them. Being born with some kind of gum disease and from that woman who gave birth to me, who carried me, um, and from the gastric bypass, and me eating ice. I am an ice eater. So, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that, not having any teeth, bottom teeth for a while, but I'd rather get them done now and just um, get the nerve to shake this nerve to get it done. Um, Cause I don't want to be on my channel. Um, this is crazy cause I, I, I really didn't want to ever show them because I'm so embarrassed. I don't, I'm, you always notice that all of my pictures, you've never seen my teeth. Um, I got the top done, so now I have to get the bottom done. Or maybe I'll get a permanent bridge or something. Um, so if anybody knows or can leave something down in the comments, you know anybody that has had this stuff done, um, please tell me because I don't want to get depressed about it. Um, I don't want to get depressed about it. to get it done and we are almost at Kaiser you all I just have a couple more lights to go through let me move from by this trash truck come on y'all this light don't stay green long oh there's another orangey car y'all see it so I'm not the only orange thing on this road looking like a pumpkin yeah. Yeah. I'm not the only one. That's right, light turn green. Because I should have left a little bit earlier. Oh, that's my neighbor. And y'all, this is, let me try to turn y'all so y'all can see. This is the Costco's I be going to. Oh, I miss my little um. This is my favorite Costco's that I go to. Y'all can see it. Let me widen y'all a little bit more. And then. I think once I leave here, I'm going to go to the place where I went for physical therapy when the um, third funeral director hit my car and get this, start this therapy on my side. Because mm, my bosses, my little bosses, my little bosses, I'm telling you, it does not pay, honey. Shoots, honey. Stuff just be pushing you around. And just imagine how a car feels. Man, I'm used to my car. Um, when it gets hit, it just gets pushed around. Y'all see it over there? 
Yeah, that's the Costco's, and it's always crowded. Always. Okay, let me put y'all back on the boat now. So, if our bodies get shifted around, just imagine how everything in your car gets shifted around, and things start rattling. Okay, gas is 229, so I'll get some gas from right there. Um, it's ridiculous. And I've been on the GABA payment. I, I haven't had it been on it for a week, so I'm not even going to give y'all an update yet. I'm going to wait till I've been on it for a whole week and see, tell y'all what's going on. And I was supposed to take it before I left the house, but I didn't want to take any chances with it raining outside and me driving. So I said, I'll just take it when I come home and then I'll just have to get back on the time and still take it the regular time I'm supposed to take it tonight so that I can get back on track because this every eight hours mess, y'all. It is no joke. Okay, y'all, let me turn so y'all can see that I'm here. Just waiting for these cars to turn. There you go, girl. Turn that corner. I am now at Kaiser Permanente. So see, it's not far from my house at all. Just a little hop, skip, and a jump. Y'all need to check this out. Let me open it up so y'all can see. Come on, Carl. It would be my luck to park over there and they told me. My car. I always just take my chances and go in this parking garage because um, that sign clearly says on the other side that this is for the people who go to Fridays and the stores that are in that parking lot. So I don't take any chances because my luck, I'm going to come outside and my car going to be towed. So I just take my little chances and come down here in this little dark garage and pray that I find a parking space. And nine times out of ten, I don't. I have to probably go down to the second level. But I just drive on around and see. Oh, turn these things off. How do you turn them off? Not my car. I don't know. I was playing with them yesterday. Oh, here's one right here by the door. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, let's see if your girl can back in this parking space. Oh, no, I don't need to back in. I need to drive in. Scott, I gotta get that chair out. So, we just gonna do this number, y'all. Okay. I forgot all about that. Okay. 305. Keep going. I think you got it, girl. I think you got it. You're not gonna get nothing. Because he was looking, honey. He was looking to make sure I did not hit him car. Y'all, this little teeny backup camera, I can't even trust that thing because it is so small. Now we straight because I don't want nobody hitting this car and putting dents in the door and, you know, Enterprise. Honey, they will snatch your little refund real quick. You hear me? Snatch it real quick. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all inside. Yes. Well, my little bosses, I am getting ice down. I have to do this three times a day with an ice pack on my neck to try and get things back together because my something is not right. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here, sitting here with the ice on my neck. do you recommend for therapy for this? It depends how you're doing. At least four to six visits is what I'm looking at. Okay. And that's like once a week or? It can be between one to ten days a week. Between one week to ten days. Uh huh. Let me bring that and I'll bring it. 
Well, you all, what I have been doing, I've been doing right. And I'm getting the bands. I'm getting gray, blue, and red. Yeah, gray, blue, and red. So that gives me four of the bands to work out with. And I've lost two more pounds. Hey, hey, hey. And this is just ice on my neck. She said icing my neck down will help with the burns because it's um, I have pinched nerves in my neck. And that's what's making my hands burn. So she's thinking the ice will cool down the burnings. So I have to go and buy an ice pack and put an ice pack on my neck um, whenever this burning sensation comes. And it also comes with um, holding your neck a certain kind of way. So that also um, helps. But those sit-ups I was doing on my steps, she told me to keep doing those. So I will be doing those in every single workout you all. And I've been doing 50 to 100. So I'm going to push myself now to do from 100 to 150. So... And I'll speed it up when I do it, so it won't drag out so long. And I'll go to the other therapy doctor today to um, see what they're going to do. My little bosses, I am back with another update. Oh my gosh, how do you? Wait a minute, gotta turn these things off. Okay, they're off. Okay. I went, drove all the way to Manassas um, to the physical therapist's office, and he was on vacation for so long. So, he couldn't see me today, but I have an appointment for Friday morning at 11 o'clock. So, I'll be getting that done and just can't wait to get it done. So, now I'm at the 7-Eleven here in Manassas to get some gas. It's $2.19. And my little bosses. I gotta pump my own gas because my little passenger is not here to do it for me. But like I said, I have to get back used to doing these things myself because um, she's gonna be going off to college in two years. So I better start getting it together now and getting all of this fabulousness in order. Hey! So let me go pump this gas, this $2.19 gas um, at the 7 Eleven. And I'm going to come back to you all, okay? Okay. Be right back. Well, my little bosses, I'm not sure what I was saying. Um, the video, when I uploaded it from my iCloud, it said something about um, all of my video didn't upload correctly. So I guess this is the part where it didn't upload correctly. So I think I was just leaving from getting gas and I was on my way home no well no i think i was deciding whether or not i was just gonna go and sit and wait for my daughter to get out of class or not from dance class or whatever you want to call it cheer class and um come to find out yesterday was tuesday y'all <laughs> the boston got confused with the days and my daughter called to tell me that um where was i and i was like I don't know where I was going to, but she was like, I'm sitting outside. I was like, I thought you said you got off at 8 o'clock. Then I was talking about the ice packs because I was using it while I was driving also earlier. I was putting it on my neck. I was putting it on my back. I was putting it on my hands because my hands was freezing. But in all due say, I had a very, very good day yesterday. It was very informative with physical therapy. I can't wait until... Friday comes so that I can go to the other physical therapist so that we can get some of this pain under control and just out of curiosity my daughter was telling me I should try some medical grass but I don't know um, I've never smoked grass before in my life so I really don't know oh well we'll just see what happens and I'm talking fast because I speeded up this um, part so I'll come back again soon